Hi there, I'm Sam. This is my wife Rebecca and my new little boy, three month old Max. And Bex just told me to go out and do a quick grocery shop. Uh, and so I've come back with some beautiful looking capsicum, some nice healthy oranges, apples, some sensational looking tomatoes, tomato, uh, lettuce, and some grapes. And um, basically every time we go out and do a shop like this, we always put it through the lotus. And basically, Beck, the lotus, what it does is it neutralizes all the pesticides on the fruit and veg, but also kills all the bacteria on the surface of them. That's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, yep. So we want to protect the family and get rid of all the pesticides. And this is like making the food organic without buying organic. Yeah, oh, that's right. You know, it really is looking after the family. You know, even when sometimes they can be a bit tired and grumpy. So what we'll do is we'll put Max down for a sleep. And uh, how about we lotus for this bit? So we got Max down for a sleep and uh, it wasn't too much of a struggle. So how about Beck we lotus some stuff? How about we start with the tomatoes? So basically what you do, give your fruit and veg a quick wash. You know, just giving it a, a wash doesn't get rid of the pesticides, doesn't get rid of the bacteria. All it does is basically gets rid of the dirt. Mm -hmm. So you're only doing about one tenth of the job. Lotus it, you do 100%. So, how about we start with some tomatoes and basically you just want to fill the bowl up uh, just above. So whilst Bex is doing that, you know, I'm looking forward to eating one of these but you know, I really do like to um, eat them after the lotus and even something like a, an orange, even though we don't eat the skin, when you do slice it with a knife, you actually transfer the bacteria and the pesticides through into the flesh. So that's why it's always important, even if you're not eating the flesh, to still lotus it. So let's just stick it on there. And so it's basically then just a matter of pressing the button, and there we go. Lotusing, four minutes later, we've got some beautiful pesticide free, germ free tomatoes. So Beck, I guess the best thing for us and a lot cheaper than buying organic, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah, Beck, one of the great things I like about it is that down the front here it also tells you how long it's how long it's been going for and what percentage of the cycle it's been going. Now one of the cool things about it is that it's constantly testing the water and it won't finish the cycle until it knows that all the bacteria has been killed, uh, but also all the pesticides being neutralized. So it's pretty smart. And whilst it's down the fruit shop, I just got a little flyer, have you had enough fruit and veggies each day? And uh, you know, it tells us we're going to eat two serves of fruit and five serves of veggies. But most importantly, it really highlights this is that you should always include some raw fruit and veggies. So you know, it's always very important to have your raw fruit and veggies. But one of the things with raw fruit and veggies is that they come with pesticides or bacteria on the outside and being able to lotus them is essential. That's right, and look after the family. One of the things that it comes with as well, which I know you like and I really love it, is a little spray bottle, which we'll have a look at later. But basically what this spray bottle means, something as simple as this, means that you can eliminate every chemical basically out of your household. You know, it'll replace your bleach and everything. Where do you use this? Particularly in the kitchen, because yeah. I've got this going at the same time. Yeah. Um, just to clean down the stove and the benches, chopping boards. Yeah, chopping boards, you know, I think they say that it's dirtier than the toilet. You know, being able to kill the viruses and the bacteria on your chopping board is pretty important. And I guess we're not using chemicals either. Um, I saw a, a scientist talking about lotus and he basically said that, you know, the smell of clean has no smell. Clean doesn't have a smell. Of course, we're using all these chemicals and they have all these pretty smells, but what you smell in there is the chemical. Yeah. So, um, you know, you also use this for the toilet and everything, don't you? Yeah. You know, one of the great the things... Surface. Yeah. One of the beautiful things about using this is that it's chemical free. You know, it's only infusing oxygen, super oxygenating the water, which breaks down, basically busts apart all the chemicals bust apart all the bacteria, kills them straight away. Did you know, Beck, that this stuff is twice as effective as bleach? No. 
How cool is that? That's pretty good. And that's why I keep telling you to keep using it. <laughs> so, just waiting for the tomatoes to finish. Just at about 99% now. And so, what you can possibly see is that they just sit in there in the water whilst the unit's infusing ozone through the water, bubbling away. But the best part is we're going to have fresh produce that is as close to organic as possible. And if after the set time, it's all well, the chemicals aren't out of the food, then it beeps at you and you have to do it again, change yep. the water, refresh it and do it again. Yeah, that's right. If you get something that's just totally laced, so the tomatoes are finished now, if you get something that's totally laced with pesticides, bacteria, then it's really going to, um, yeah, like Beck said, tell you, okay, we've got too much, tip out the water, let's start again, and it will then start another cycle to, uh, to neutralise that. So we bought some <coughs> grapes from a large supermarket once, yep. and they... No names, of course. ...about three times to go through before we actually got them to be yep. edible. So basically, tomatoes are finished, we just take it off. Um, there's a little strainer at the top, so it makes it very easy to strain the water out. Take the lid off, and there we have freshly lotus tomatoes. But the most important thing is that they are chemical free, bacteria free. Now you can't ask for anything better than that, and they look beautiful. Oh, great, Beck, the grapes are done. Looking forward to these because I love grapes, and especially when they've been lotus because I know they're going to be nice and clean. So, but how often can you clean something? You know, basically neutralize all the pesticides, kill the bacteria, but mm, be able to eat it straight away. Sorry. Am I going too fast for you? <laughs> mm, they're fantastic. While Spec's doing that, one of the other great features is of course the spray bottle attachment, which really enables you to, I guess, be, get rid of all the chemicals that are in the area. Um, so it's a matter of then selecting what's on the top, pressing start. Mm. So there we go, Max has had just a really quick nap, um, but in that time we've been able to lotus all our fruit and veg. Uh, we also gave the kitchen a bit of a spray down, so you know, for example, the, the bench top's nice and clean, there's no viruses where uh, Max is playing, no bacteria. Um, hopefully I gave my hand a bit of a spray because now Max is just sucking away on that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but um, I guess one of the great things is that we've now got clean fruit and veg, clean produce. And, uh, and you know what you're eating now. Yeah. It's just the proper fruit and veg. Yeah, that's right. because. I guess um, you know pesticides are hidden. You can't see them, but they can do some pretty bad things to your body. And accumulation over time. Yeah, it accumulates over time. So now we've got stuff that's, I guess, as close to organic without buying organic, isn't it? Yep. So I'm happy. You happy? Sure, I am. <laughs> Max is. You happy, Max? Max is happy. So he'll keep playing away, and uh, we'll start eating our beautiful, clean produce.